Hi guys, thanks for checking out the kettlebell conditioning tour. I'm John the Top and I'll be the one taking the, the tour dates wherever you might be. Uh, in this video I just want to show you quickly some of the exercises we're going to cover in the tour and also the little extras that you probably haven't thought about. Um, basically the idea with the tour is I'm looking to improve two areas of your fitness. Number one is your strength, functional strength, and number two is power endurance. Okay, by power endurance I mean that ability to generate power over and over again without tiring too quickly. Okay, whether that's in running 10Ks, whether it's in uh, mixed martial arts, playing tennis, whatever sport you're involved in, you need power endurance. Okay, if you're, if you're flagging after 10-20% of the competition, then chances are you're not winning as much as you could be. Okay, so that's, that's the, the two key areas. I suppose there is a third key area, it's just the excitement that you get out of your training. There's so many people getting bored stiff and kind of t always turning away from fitness because they're fed up with machines, they're fed up with treadmills, they're fed up with cross training, all these boring things, or even classes in the gym that just don't get them anywhere. If you can learn how to train for kettlebells, I guarantee you, and I'll be quite happy to bet my house on this, that you will never turn back. Okay, it really is a phenomenal way of training. Chances are you've already been excited by all this, which is why you're watching this video. So what I'm going to go on to now is just to show you some of the exercises that we're going to cover in the tour, and also talk a bit about the, the kind of the little extras that come with it. Uh, what I'm going to show you is the 40 kilo kettlebell. Now, to some people that's not going to be a big weight, but at the moment I only weigh 77 kilos. Okay, I've been doing a lot of endurance work, ready for a tough guy event, uh, so my body weight has dropped. Yeah, I have been able to maintain a good level of strength, really better than a lot of people out there. Um, and that is thanks to the kettlebells and the way of training I'm going to show you to, through the tour. Uh, I'd be quite happy to take on some of your, your bulkier mates who go to the gym, do a lot of bodybuilding training, they look big, they look strong, but then when it comes down to actual functional strength, okay, and by functional strength I mean strength you can actually use in sports and use in daily life. I'm not talking about the functional strength you see in a gym where you're wobbling on a, a gym ball and a base ball and all that kind of rubbish. This is functional strength because it's actually stuff you need in life and you need when you're playing sport. Okay, and a lot of, there's a lot of people out there who look the part but their body's pretty much useless. Okay, and I don't want you being one of these people. So I'm going to show you first of all the get up which is an absolutely fantastic core exercise. Also, also helps you develop your body as one unit again. It shows you how to integrate your upper body, lower body, and all these kind of the core muscles as people refer to them as a unit. Okay? Okay, so that's the get up, that's one of the exercises we're going to cover. The next one is the swing. Now this is one of those exercises you've probably seen on YouTube videos, you yeah, I know how to do a swing. There's a lot more to it in terms of muscle activation, hip mobility, all these kind of things, and that's what we're going to work on at the beginning of the day on the tour, to make sure you are getting maximum impact from the swings. If you can get your body functioning properly, these are going to be your secret weapon in terms of developing speed, strength and power, okay, whether it's running, jumping or anything else, you need to be doing swings. Okay, so that's the kettlebell swing. The next exercise we're going to have to teach you to perfect is the clean. This is something I've seen horrendous technique with. With, you know, people think, oh, it's just a case of getting the kettlebell up to the chest, then they're bicep curling it, they're throwing it around. There's a lot of little pointers you need for the clean to make sure you do it correctly and safely, and again, to, to maximise the impact. So basically, with the clean, we're looking to get the kettlebell up to what we call the rack position. From there, we can do squatting movements and overhead movements. Okay, so that's me, the kettlebell, in the rack position, ready to go. Okay, so that's just some of the basic movements. We're also, within that, 
as part of developing the exercises, we're also going to work on things like squat, squatting depth, uh, breathing patterns as well. These are all absolutely critical to make sure this whole unit is absolutely solid, whatever exercise you're doing. Again, this then transfers to your, your sports performance, whatever it might be, and just general function as well. If you've got a weak core, it's not going to be helped by wobbling around on jingles, okay? Now, two of the key exercises we're going to work with towards the end of the day, once we've worked on one of the basic exercises, are the jerk and the snatch. Again, from a sports perspective, you need to know these exercises. Okay, I'm going to show you the kettlebell jerk. Now this, if you were involved in MMA, boxing, karate, any kind of martial art where it involves hand strikes and transferring power from the lower body through the hips into the arm, you need to be able to do this. Okay, it will revolutionise your punches, okay? you'll be a lot stronger, a lot quicker. Simply because you're learning to transfer the power. If you are involved in these sports, you will know that the power doesn't come from just extending the arm, okay? It comes from the lower body and driving through, and again, using that body as a unit. So, I'll do this on the side, you can just see how the jerk applies. Okay, so I'm starting with my elbow on the hip bone, so I can get that, that transfer from lower body to upper body. Okay, so you can see there how I'm integrating my legs, the core is rock solid there, driving from the hip, okay, so I'm not just extending my arm upwards, I'm actually using my leg to drive up, and hopefully you can hear the, the breathing pattern as well, that's really important too. Okay, finally we've got the snatch, another great exercise for integrating the whole body. Absolute killer, if we're talking about conditioning sessions, a few kind of time sets of snatches are going to have you blowing, okay? Okay, that's the kettlebell snatch. Again, it's not just a case of throwing it over your head. There's kind of three or four stages of the movement which you will develop, kind of perfect one at a time until you can do the whole thing. Okay, so integrated into all of this, there's a lot of mobilisation work, muscle activation, and all these little tweaks that you're just not going to pick up from a, a kind of boss standard YouTube video. Okay, we're looking to do this safely, we're looking to do it correctly, and obviously as an ultimate goal is to improve your performance and all areas of your fitness. Flexibility, strength, power endurance, conditioning, the lot. Okay, that's kind of the, the meat of the course. What we're also going to do is, when you leave the course, I'm going to be sending you nutrition programs, strength programs, conditioning programs, and also kind of how to combine the two. You know, a lot of people work on strength for six weeks, then do some conditioning. By the end of the conditioning, they've lost their strength. So they go back to strength work and then they lose conditioning. Okay, we're going to look at how you can integrate all of this using kettlebells and bodyweight training. And like I said, that's all part of the course, along with the five space flexibility system and any support you want from me going forward. Okay, a couple of people asked me, is this course just for trainers? In fact, when I first designed the course, it was actually aimed at people who have got a good level of fitness, but they just want to get onto that extra level. They want to push themselves a little bit more and they kind of, you know, they want to hit that that higher zone. Okay, there's a lot of people out there who, yeah, they're quite fit, they look good in the gym, but they're not quite maximising their potential. And that's what the kettlebell conditioning tool is designed for. However, if you are a trainer and you're looking for a great introductory course to the kettlebells, you're not going to find anything better. You're certainly not going to find anything which is more kind of cost effective in these times, okay? We're looking at just £99 for the day, and that includes all of the, the programming, the nutrition, and everything else afterwards. And you're going to meet a lot of people from the UK who are like you, okay? They're in the right mindset, they're not just gym rats looking to do bodybuilding. Okay, so fantastic value. You're going to get more out of this than probably a year in the gym or watching YouTube. So hopefully, I will see you either at the first one in Nottingham, that's on Saturday, the 22nd of August. Or if you want me to come to your city to do this course, then drop me an email, john at stormforcefitness.com and we'll sort something out. We've already got dates almost confirmed in Southampton, Newcastle, Middlesbrough, and we're looking at London pretty soon as well. Okay, so I'm open to offers, not like that, just for the kettlebells. So if you want to know more, drop me an email, john at stormforcefitness.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, get yourself to worldstoughestworkouts.com 
forward slash kettlebell conditioning tour and check out what's going on. Hopefully I'll see you soon.